What's going on you guys, this is MaxKD, I have another Dell Precision T1650, going to be upgrades for gaming. First I'm going to be guys doing is upgrading the power supply, to do that you're going to disconnect the CPU for the 4 pin, and the 20 front pin, and it's got a secure clip, so what you have to do is you have to press on here in the middle, same with the 4 pin, you have to press on it before you remove it. You're going to remove the optical drive power cable and you disconnect from the hard drive there are four screws in the back the power supply so I'm going to use the drill I'm going to use instead it's going to be a lot quicker I'm using a Phillips head and what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide it, the power supply will slide to the right. Before you do that, you gotta take a screwdriver again, and press on the clip right here. And it's a 290 watt. If you got a GT1030, then you're gonna have to upgrade the power the, the video card there. But if you're gonna be using GT1030 or like a GTX uh, 1050 Ti. 290 will with the i5 work perfectly fine, but since I'm going to be installing the i7 Core i7 C CPU, then I'm just going to go to upgrade the power supply show you guys how to do that And guys, I'm going to be using the 730 watt, this is the RAID Max It's okay power supply, it's not, you know, it's got a power switch over here for the power LED, blue fan And before you install it, I'm gonna take a screwdriver like this. You see where the latch is here? And you have to take a screwdriver like this, lift it up. Because this is kind of too long, this spiral supply is very long. And the only way you install it, you have to take this plastic latch and you have to lift it. Now I'm going to go ahead and install back the four screws. That's installed. Now we're gonna connect back the cables. So full pin for the CPU power and the 24 pin. Now I'm going to connect the uh, optical drive and uh, I'm going to connect the hard drive later because I'm going to be upgrading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade the memory, show you guys how to do that. So it's using a DDR3 I'm using the match pair and I'm using the HyperX So first you're going to install is, uh, the dim slot 1 is right here, the left one, and the right is a dim slot 2 for dual channel. It's got 8 gigs now. Twelve. Sixteen gigs. 
And guys, I'm going to show you guys the disconnect the SATA cable. So they're using a 3.5 inch. I'm going to move the plastic caddy for the hard drive. It comes out like this. And I'm going to be using a different caddy, guys. This is what we're going to be installing. It's a Dell caddy and it's a 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch. I'm going to be using the Intel Solar State Drive. It's a 2.5 inch. Install like this. And it's, uh, this is the Intel Pro Series of 512 gig. Or you could use Samsung 850 Pro. They're really good. So you can install one here and one on the bottom like this. Or you could have one solar state drive for boot, and another one you can have is uh, for storage is a laptop hard drive 2.5 inch like this. So this could be 512 for boot drive, and this laptop hard drive you can go storage like two terabytes. You can do that. It works just fine. So what I'll do is I'll install the screws. for the soul state drive the other one, the last one And if you guys are going to be doing a CPU upgrade, uh, basically I have another video for the Dell, what is the Optiplex I have, it's the same, you're using the same heatsink, so you guys can watch the video. So this is the one installed, now you're going to do is connect it like this, 3.5 inch cat, this is a 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch, you're going to connect. And just connect it back and you're done so what I'll do guys be the last part is will be the video card and what I'll have to do is connect the cables say the cable and the power I'm gonna switch it to the other. So there's a little latch right here. You're gonna press it down with your finger. And to remove the video card, I'm gonna lift up the computer and you guys can see. There's a little secure clip. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift the, press this up like this with your finger before you move the video card. And the video card guys I'm gonna be using is uh, it's a Gigabyte GTX 1050 Ti. This is a low profile. It's got both DVI, HDMI, display port. And you're gonna take a, there's a PCI bracket you have to remove. Cause this is using two piece, two slots. You guys can see, so I have to go to the other side. Let's see, I'm gonna move the video card again. Switch it like this. I'm gonna zoom out the camera. So the video card is installed. I'm gonna show you guys the back side and this is how it's gonna look like.
And what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna connect the monitor directly to the video card and if you're gonna be installing a clean Windows 10 and what you're gonna do is well, when you install the Windows 10 you're gonna you can get the latest drivers from NVIDIA.com they have but if you guys gonna install in uh, GTX 1070 video card it will fit but the problem is you have to remove the hard drive cage to do that, I have to make a separate video to show you how to do that. That's why I'm upgrading the power supply. And you just have to see that I already have six, uh, it's got the eight pin, so I could connect it. And what, do you, what else you have to do is, longer video cards, there's a USB 3.0. Here where the header is, that's how to be disconnected. You can't be using a USB ports 3.0. If you're going to be installing the, the GTX 1070, see right here, and you're going to install GTX 1070, you have to use the L-shaped SATA cables, so don't forget. I'm going to connect it back. But if you're going to be installing like a GTX 1030, GTX 1060, it should be like this video card, a single fan, and you'll be able to fit, so you don't have to remove the hard drive cage. So I'm gonna close the side cover panel, we're done. So guys, this is the end of the video, thanks for watching, bye.